shift by Kota to Waka. That fancy footwork. He's got the outside grip. Kavitsuru has an inside grip at an odd angle. Trying to get to Maimitsu with the left hand. Oh, now he steadies himself. He's fighting up high, but this is Kota to Waka's game. So, each man fighting in his strength, fighting up high. Who's got it at this high altitude? Left hand inside, right hand outside each man. A Murozashi, though, for Takanotsuru. That might be a slight advantage. Kota Waka has a terrific arm throw. Look for him to try to flash that outside arm throw if he can't force out to Kanatsuru. Kanatsuru more of a Yuri Kitty man. He'll try to force out to the walk. His options are limited. Go to the walk is or not. But he's powerful. He's go to the walk is steady. He's works his way back into the middle of the ring. Big man, Mano a Mano Suma. There's the arm throw attempt. Left hand outside, but it doesn't budge to Kanatsuru. Now the right hand inside, left hand outside, or the grips. Kanatsuru and Kota Walker respectively. A right hand pawing match. Left hand outside, Kota Walker might be setting up for that outside arm throw. Watte Dashinake perhaps. Right arm pinned of Kanatsuru. Why are we not surprised to see Kota Waka in this long, drawn-out yeah, match? Mr. Two Minutes is at it again. Kanatsuru looks spent. Kota Waka is conditioned for these types of fights. He seems to have a stamina to go all the time. We're down, folks. It's a battle of attrition now. As he is in the tank, Kanatsuru might be on fumes. Tonawaka has a bad knee, as we know, but in this kind of match, he, he doesn't care about the pain. He wants to win. Raising up to Kanatsuru, now trying the outside. Oh, no, and he shoves out to Kanatsuru with that outside grip. 